Welcome back to Adobe InDesign CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the concept of threading text. So uh, what we have here is a block of text in a uh, text frame here. And what I want you to understand is here is the input and here is the output of the, uh, the text, uh, also known as the import and outport. If I actually click on the import here, you'll see I've loaded in my placeholder this actual text. And if I click out here, I have essentially create another text frame here. So I can click on this one and this one, you'll see. Um, so I can click on that one and bring it over and bring it back up here and make a, yet another one, uh, which is pretty interesting to do. Uh, what I want you to understand here is, uh, if I go ahead and delete this one, I'll go ahead and delete this one, is that um, with the text, if I scale it down, uh, what will happen is you'll get the overset, meaning that this little plus sign means that there's more text here it's hidden until I drag it down far enough where it's revealed. So depending on the shape of your your text frame here and how much you have, you may have additional text. So say you have a couple of columns here. I'm going to go ahead and use a, the text uh, tool here and just draw out another text frame on this side. And um, click out. And what you can do is you can actually add the overset from this frame to this frame. You do this using the black arrow tool, which is a selection tool. It has the hotkey of E. So what I'm going to do is click on this plus here, and you'll see I've loaded the text. And if I click here, I've loaded the additional text, and it continues from where we left off here. Um, if I make this a smaller uh, text box, you'll see there's more overset there. And uh, if I add another text frame here, I'm just going to draw another one here. I can again click on the black arrow, click on this little plus symbol, and again, sometimes you have to click on it twice to load it, and then you'll see the cursor changes. So out here, it has sort of a, a right angle degree, and as I move it in here, it's got this sort of infinity kind of symbol, which means basically to, to basically drop the text in this already uh, created text frame here. Now what I want you to see is how this is threaded together, because it is connected. And you can see that by going to the view menu, going down into extras, and then choosing show text threads. And here you can see uh, with a little playhead kind of symbol here, the way it connects from one to the other to the other. So it's pretty cool the way it works here. I'm going to go ahead and click out. And uh, anytime I want to bring back the text, I could, you know, for example, make this bigger again and immediately this uh, text will go back to where it was. I can even delete this this one here. Um, so any of these, if I you know, reduce the size of this one, but click on this one and increase the size, you'll now see all the text has moved over. It's actually threaded through. And I can delete this text frame here. So that's the idea, the overview of the concept of text, uh, text threading in Adobe InDesign CC. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Until next time, cheers.